Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Is ever impressive. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use Diamond Cut Graphics Epiphone to Gibson decal kit to basically turn this wannabe Gibson, which is actually a Chipson, into actually what it's supposed to be. Now, you don't have to do this, but I did this myself because I'm going to recoat this headstock, so I needed to sand down the headstock a little bit. Wet sanded it with 1500 grit sandpaper. The reason why I went with 1500 instead of 800 grit is I don't want to lose where it says Les Paul model here. That is a either a silk screen that's under the clear coat, uh, or it is a type of a decal. Now the Gibson logo that it's on a lot of these chipsons, they are actual an inlay. So they're a little bit of a pain in the ass to kind of like remove. Uh, you could basically kind of like just take a rolled up piece of tape and I'll show you this little trick here. Take a piece of tape roll it around say let me see if I can find a round pencil or a round pen uh, that's a little bit too big a pencil will have to do so I can't believe I do not have no pencils around here let's see something that's about a pencil size yeah this would be about right so I'm going to take this and roll it around it sticky side out So you get an idea of what I'm doing here. All right, sticky side out. There we go. Now we got some contact. All right, so you're making a little bit like a like a tube, like a straw, you know, something like this. And what you'll end up doing is placing this kind of like right under the emblem. All right, so what that's going to do is if you decide to spray over this, and you've got to use very, very light coats to do this the right way, do not flood it. Do not, uh, if it takes like six coats of black to cover this up, then it's going to take six coats of light black to cover this up. But what's going to happen is, is because this is rolled, a lot of that paint is not going to get underneath here. And it's going to be like a little bit of a fog. So it'll be a lot easier after removing this to blend in the black into the black after you sprayed it. Using a flat black would actually be a lot better than go over it with a clear. But I'm going to do this the easy way. And I'm going to use Diamond Cut Graphics. Little kit over here for basically what his advertisement says is changing an Epiphone into a Gibson logo. Well, I'm going to take a Chipson logo and turn, or take a Gibson logo and turn it into a Chipson logo because that's what this is. And I hope uh, Jeff Lee over at Diamond Cut Graphics makes a kit for doing this. You know, turning it into what it is, not what, it, what they want it to be. So I'll go ahead and cut the tape off over here. Very carefully because I don't want to cut the decal itself and what this is is a very thin oval vinyl decal in black gloss black and what it's going to do is basically cover up this area right here just like that now I'm going to clear coat over this so well, I'm actually going to uh, epoxy over this and that'll embed this and the Chipson logo in underneath the epoxy and shouldn't give me any like raised areas or nothing so like he says what you want to do is make sure your area is clean I know my area is clean um, take this off and this is very very thin if I can get it off it's so thin I can hardly get it off I don't want to pick at it because then it will make a raised spot on the it won't be flat anymore wow these are thin 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 here we go I think I'm getting it now 
Yeah, I got it. Just like so. And get a cup of, just a little cup of soapy water. You know, nothing really to just a couple of drops of water and or a couple of drops of dishwashing soap in a cup with some lukewarm water. And then what you want to do is dip this in there. And what that's going to do is basically lubricate the adhesive that's on the bottom so you can position this where you want it, how you want it, without getting in the way of anything. So you put a little bit more water on there because it's wanting to stick right away. Make sure that it's not overhanging the edges, not covering up anything. Like a piece of paper towel. And smooth things out. I'll move this in just a little bit. Now I'm going to go one step further and take a credit card or something and kind of squeegee out the remainder of the water. This also will remove air bubbles as well. Just like so. Now I am going to take a razor blade and trim this up just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. You can see like right here. No, it's not in the corner. No, I'm actually pretty good. Alright, so we're good at this. Now I'll let this dry for a bit. And the reason being is I want the water to evaporate, evaporate from underneath the decal. This is an applicator for doing basically the same thing on automobile graphics. Let's see, there's an air bubble right there. And a little bit of an air pocket right here. Not a big deal. It comes right out. Just like that. I want to check to see if there's any more air pockets in there. Nope, looks like we are good to go. Just get the rest of the water out from underneath it. Because those air pockets will sh actually show up in your clear coat. We are nice and smooth. We are not going anywhere. And that's about it. So while I'm going to wait for that to dry, let's give it just a a couple hours and then I will apply the Chipson decal. Alright so this has been sitting for eh, roughly about 15 minutes. Looks like it's all you know, dried as far as any type of moisture being underneath the decal. That should be gone. When you squeegee out the air bubbles and stuff you're also squeegeeing out the water. I just wanted to let it sit for a while longer just as an added precaution. So I've already plugged up all the holes for the tuners and basically when I do the epoxy resin on there it's not going to go in there, it's not going to go through the other side and on the back of it I'll still have a guide for the drill bit to run through and cut out all the new holes. The only thing I have to do is I have to cover this or mask this off over here where the truss rod is and uh, you know make sure nothing gets in there. But right now I am ready to start putting on the chips and decal. So what I'm going to do with the chips and decal right now is I've got this tool here which is basically a prying tool for you know automotive use and uh, I use it for well, I've used it for doing carpeting, I used it for doing upholstery, and I'm using it for basically flattening out the areas for uh, when I apply these decals. So I'm going to take this and I want to take the bottom end of it and rub it over the chips and decal because there is a protective plastic top on this that the decal actually sticks to and I want to make sure when I peel off the backing all of the chips and logo is on that plastic top 
this way when I go to apply it I'm not missing any letters all the details are there now the one thing you want to make sure of is that the angle of the chipson decal you want to make sure that that angle matches the angle that of the original decal that was already on there or not decal but inlay so I'll show you how to do that which is fairly easy because the way Gibson does things or the way Chipson does things it's kind of easy to kind of do this so I'm going to peel this off very carefully very slowly make sure all of the decal is stuck to the backing which is not I'm having a problem right there there we go all right so all the decal is stuck to the backing I'm going to use a screwdriver here stick it on the back and I kind of want to angle this thing it has to be a little bit on an angle and centered properly and I would say is where it's going to be. So I'm going to use this. Flatten this out so it sticks really good. Now I don't want to flatten out all of the clear plastic that's on the top of the decal because I don't want that to stick to the black oval that's covering up the fake Gibson logo alright so now I'm going to take and peel this off slowly Okay, nothing peeled up everything looks good now it's what it is a chips in so I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing some epoxy and start masking this area off you don't really have to watch that do you all right so I got the headstock elevated and using the bubble level I am level this way and I am level this way. So now, <coughs> excuse me, what I want to do is I want to pour the epoxy on here. This is a step that you guys may not want to do if you're going to cover up a Epiphone because, well, if you're going to end up covering up an Epiphone and you're going to spray clear over it and stuff, you're not going to be able to remove that decal. So I want this to be permanent, and that's what it's going to be. I got the epoxy pretty much all mixed up here. Starting to warm up inside the cup. Go ahead and pour.
thin. And I want to clear. And as you can see, you can't even tell that there are decals covering up the Gibson logo on this Chipson guitar. So I'm going to let this sit for a bit, and I'm going to hit it with the torch again to get all the rest of the bubbles to come up to the top and hopefully pop. And that's about it. After that, just let it set up. So this is how you would use Diamond Cut Graphics uh, Epiphone 2 Gibson kit. And what I did is I used a Gibson logo on a fake Gibson guitar and sealed it up with the epoxy resin. You can also clear coat it if you would like. Um, but like I said before, if you're going to do, say, an Epiphone cover-up, uh, I wouldn't recommend to clear coat it because if you ever want to go back to being a Gibson well then or Epiphone then you can do so all right that's my story I'm sticking to it I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, yeah once this thing cures up I'll show you guys what it looks like before I do anything else to it and string it up and get it to be a playable guitar again thanks a lot